Hey, what's up, my little time to tell us how y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Kanye West, you're on your way to meet Bianca Sensori's parents, you guys. What am I talking about? If you don't know, and if you don't, where you been at? Kanye West, the new love of his life, Bianca Cersei, baby, is real. She giving him something he can feel. But guess what? Kim is not out, to, not to be outdone. They tried to stonewall. The Kardashians tried to say that they don't consider the marriage legitimate. Kanye looked and said, who? And didn't care and moved on full force. Now that Kanye is being reported, is on his way to meet Bianca's parents. Kim is having no choice but the face that the one person that was making, well, not making her relevant, right? But the one person that her relevancy was tied to, she is not a factor for him anymore. Kim is really trying to figure out what is going on. She's even finding solace in self-help books. She's finding solace in self-help books and also getting her ego stroked so she can give little speeches at Harvard so she can keep telling herself, I am someone, I am someone, I am someone. Now listen, right? This has, time has to be pretty traumatic for Kim. Let's talk about Kanye first, right? Kim's biggest complaint is before Kanye, she before her and Kanye got divorced, she definitely was Kanye's keeper. She hid for years all of Kanye's two true thoughts. Now, y'all know my opinion on that. I don't believe that you can be married or dating someone that has those strong opinions without either one, sharing them, or two, finding them, yeah, it's no big deal, you know? Because you see the way Kim rise up. If anybody talks about Armenian Americans, right? You know the way she acts if anybody talks about Armenian Americans. But, so get this. Even after the divorce, she took pride in the fact that she had that like relationship. Like, you know, sometimes he comes over, sometimes he cooks dinner. I'm not saying he spends the night, but don't nobody should be excited or amused if they see him walking out in the morning, right? That was always their thing. Kim called the shots. When Kim started, uh, when Kim started dating Pete, Kanye was still getting her clothes helping her out on Saturday Night Live, telling everybody, I think that me and my wife are going to be together. He was making a big spectacle. Then something happened. Kim got super, super serious with Pete and Kanye went ghost. He went to Japan. He got really quiet. He was doing his best to try to get over Kim. And then something else happened. Pete dumped Kim. Kanye thought they would get back together. He got on TV like Boo Boo the phone talk about, I'm always gonna look out for her. That's the mother of my children. Now when that happened, I said, you know what? That's a great sentiment. But to be honest with you, I feel like you feel that way because you are still in love with Kim. And you're always going to look out for the person, not that you love, but the person you are in love with. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to see her lose because you're going to be getting back with her. However, a lot of y'all said I was crazy. But look at the way the tides have changed. Kanye was so over-involved in everything Kim did, helping her with the SKKN, helping her with all this stuff, right? So what ended up happening? Kim is single now. And you can't tell me that she didn't think that all those guys in her DMs were serious. See, here's the thing. Kim is beautiful. She has a lot of money, okay? Like, we all know the gifts that Kim had. But the problem is, Kim's been in a marriage for so long, she forgot what it was like when somebody's sniffing after someone that's taken. And the thing is, Kim used to be like that. It's easy for the side piece or the person you're talking trash to, to talk trash in DMs, maybe even take you on a trip, even do this and that, because you have someone that is actually in the trenches doing emotional labor to be in a relationship with you. But there's always people from the outside being like, girl, I'll take care of you, I would do this, I would do that. However, with Kanye, when he actually left the chat, Kim turned around and said, okay, like I, I'm single now, what's up? And everybody looked at her like, um, I, I, I was just saying that. I, I, I did not expect to step up and be father to your four young children. And while she would like to blame Kanye, cause I understand, I wouldn't date somebody if they had an ex like Kanye. I, like, especially if I'm a means or I have a name, you're not dragging me all over the internet. But the one thing that Kim forgot which is I think this thing actually humbled her is, can you go back to Kim saying that she doesn't take, hold on y'all, Kim saying she doesn't take the marriage 
uh, seriously, because it came out of nowhere. Do you know who else's marriage came out of nowhere? Do you know who else's marriage uh, only lasted 72 days? Do you know who else made a mockery and a spectacle and just married somebody as a PR stunt and as a paycheck? Yes, if her name rhymes with him and starts with a K, you would be correct. Kim Kardashian, okay? Kim, even though she likes to blame Kanye for not being a hot ticket anymore, she needs to realize one thing. Kim, you're not 20-something years old anymore. And that doesn't mean anything because you're still beautiful. And women of any age can be beautiful. I mean, Kim, you're trying to compete with 25-year-olds. That would be like us trying to compete with like third graders for who got the best coloring poster. One, it's cringy. Two, it's pathetic. And three, haven't you like already established like your dominance? Like, do you really need to compete for the male gaze? But also, and this is what everybody's saying really has Kim reeling. Kim forgets that even though she likes to blame Kanye for not having any takers, and people that publicly claim her, Kim forgets that when she married Chris Humphreys, he was the only person that would claim her. And the first person you wanted to get married and you did, after you divorced Kim, Chris Humphreys, nobody would go near you with a 10 foot pole. Why? Because of the spectacle. Because everything you do might be a PR stunt. Because everything you do might be fake. It's funny how Kim has entered her projection era where she is projecting on Kanye everything that she has done, all her past sins and even some of her future ones, y'all. This is a mess. Again, look at this book she's reading, Signs, The Secret Language of the Universe by Laura Lynn Jackson, a collection of incredible stories that speak to the universe's endless capacity for magical moments. Again, right? The endless capacity for, max, for magical moments and then she's being like, I saw rainbows. It just lets me know one thing. Kim is down bad right now. Kim is feeling bad. Kim is feeling like she is in unknown territory. And I believe someone being a type A personality, it has to be very, very traumatic. Now that said, Kim, you fought to be free. You wanted this. You sat there and did a PR campaign about how Kanye and you were scared and you were always going to protect Pete. Meanwhile, Pete dumped you and is busy making a mockery of whatever y'all had. He basically played you. I say all this to say, Kanye is out there in, um, where is it? Out in the, the boondocks of Australia meeting Bianca's family, her two sisters, everyone. And again, I know it annoys Kim that nobody has anything bad to say about Bianca. Kanye's out there actually meeting his new family. Kim is scared that why she wanted to have all Kanye's kids, you forgot that you might not be the last person to have Kanye's kids. Pete is out here being 20 something, literally hitting everything that moves. That's what 28 year olds do. And dating people that he actually syncs with and finds fun and whatnot. And Kim is literally taking pictures of rainbows that pop up all over her house. Y'all, listen, Kim Kardashian has officially entered her flop era, right? Start, you start believing your own hype. You start buying your own hype. She's officially entered her flop era. Again, it's not to say Kim's going to stay there forever, but let's honestly see if season three of the Kardashians pull her out but honestly judging from like the promo that they actually showed us and the way Kim was kind of crowdsourced what the next storyline should be for reality TV what do you want to see kids this that girl isn't this reality TV you are now playing a sims adventure with your life again she might be able to pull it out the bag maybe she'll get a high profile relationship that will bring the glamour back right but again as much as she wants to hate Kanye West for ruining her chances at love. Kim, that 72 hour mar day marriage to Chris Humphreys was what set everybody. Kanye at that point, everybody called him a fool for taking you. And yeah, you've grown. Yeah, you got no money. Yeah, you got like uh, better surgery. Yeah, you got all that stuff. But at the end of the day, the North remembers. Y'all, that Balenciaga thing, coupled with everything else. And now, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.